Well, I think on the panel, a lot of them felt that there were a lot of funds, large funds that were being raised in this past year. So we know that early stage investors are going to have to deploy it. The question is how? So they're going to be more judicious because they're going to have to stay with companies longer. On the public side, a lot of companies undervalued. We know some of them are going to take a hit. They're not going to be able to get financed. And the opportunity then is for large pharma, which way will they go? Will they get more active on the deal size? I don't think we're going to see as large deals as we have seen this past year or so. Smaller deals, but maybe very focused deals on technology that aligns with their internal pipeline. And then on the macroeconomic side, 2024, people can be ready for an election and start revving up for that. We don't know what the feds are going to do with the interest rates. They've talked about increasing it another 25 basis points. They may or may not do it, but we know that higher interest rates really does suppress a lot of investment. We also have a war going on. So all of these unexpected factors can play a role in how investors think about where's a good place to put the money. We're hoping they continue to see the value in life sciences.